As we reported last week, more than half a million baptized Catholics left the church in Germany last year. The number is nearly double of the 270,000 who left the church in 2020. There are nearly 21 million people in Germany who officially identify as Catholic. And now we go to Rudolf Gehrig, Vatican correspondent for CNA Deutsch. Rudolf, it's so great to see you. Let's talk about the, the German church. Why has this number of people leaving the church in Germany nearly doubled since 2020? And how statistically significant is that 500,000 number? Yeah, the church in Germany is one of the most important employers still and, and plays a major role in society. But that should not obscure the fact that more and more Catholics are becoming alienated from the church. Already two years ago, a survey re revealed that in that one in three Catholics is seriously considering leaving the church. So there's no end in sight to this mass exodus for the time being. And the actual church is much smaller than reported with people who register as Catholics not actually being practicing Catholics. But are there other Christian denominations experiencing similar effects? Yeah, there are preliminary statistics that a total of 380,000 people left the Protestant Church in 2022. So the Protestant Church in Germany currently has 19.2 million members, the Catholic Church around 21 million. So. The problems and the numbers are relatively similar, even though the Catholic Church is, of course, particularly in the media spotlight. Yes, actually a crisis of faith in the country. How are church leaders in Germany then reacting to these numbers? Is anything being done? Yeah, the number of people leaving the church has almost doubled since the beginning of the synodal way. It therefore seems absurd that the president of the German Bishops' Conference, Bishop Georg Betzing, declared these statistics showed that the decisions of the German synodal way must continue to be implemented and, quote, filled with life. However, the controversial synodal way was not necessarily the only motive for leaving. An earlier study says, Older people in particular cited the church's handling of the abuse crisis as a reason for leaving. For younger people, the payment of church taxes is the main reason for turning their backs on the church. Their relationship between the church and the government. And of course, Pope Francis has condemned the synodal way for its ideological colonization. Tell me, is there any good news in this report from Germany? <laughs> yeah, some bishops learned a lesson and are going back to the roots. To, to cite just one example, Bishop Stefan Oster of Passau hosted a congress on Eucharistic adoration a few weeks ago in Bavaria with theological talks, with worship and the opportunity to go to confession. On site and through the live streams all put together, more than 10,000 young people participated. Actions like these, which put Christ and his message back at the center, show young people that they and their thirst for God are being taken seriously. And I think that brings people back to church. Well, switching gears a little bit now, tomorrow we're expecting the Vatican to release the participants in the upcoming Synod on Synodality in Rome in October. What can you tell us? Yeah, Pope Francis has the idea that the Synod of Synodality should be different from, for example, the, the, the Synod of the, the Synodal Way in, in Germany. So even at the presentation of the working paper here in Rome two weeks ago, high-ranking representatives of the World Synod said that the German Synodal Way was not a model for them. So the Synod on Synodality decided by Pope Francis should explicitly have a different character than a Synodal Way in Germany which has caused so much division. So what we are expecting are new ideas to, to bring the gospel back to the people. And we'll be looking to see who actually is chosen to form part of this important working group. Thank you so much, Rudolf.